What is up you guys and welcome back to Brittany Automotive. So super exciting. This is a sneak peek of what the engine is going to look like once it is put together. I want to give a huge, huge shout out to Holly before I even start this video. Obviously we have the beautiful throttle body on the front and that is thanks to them. Also, this video is going to be wiring our fuel injector harness and Holly ever so kindly sent me my new high impedance injectors. So huge shout out to them once again. Obviously there are several other parts on here that are from them and I just wanted to say that I was super thankful for them and I'm excited to be working with them. Now with all of their help, I am sure I could have sent them an email and asked for a fuel injector harness, but I pride myself on the fact that the ugly stepchild is completely custom wired. And there is still one piece of wiring that is not customly made by me. Also, I'm a little anal when it comes to wiring, obviously because I wired my entire car. It does its job, but I want it to look perfect. I'm a little OCD when it comes to wiring. so. We are going to make it look very, very pretty. And once again, shout out to Holly for everything. Also, I wanna give a huge shout out to ProWire USA. I will leave a link down below for them because they also sent me the connectors so that I can do this and some of the wires. There are a ton of different fuel injector connectors that are out there, but Holly makes it easy. And when you buy the fuel injectors, they put it in the description of what connectors they use. So for GM, it's typically an EV6, EV1, or a Miltec and mine are EV6, and so I went ahead and ordered the US car from ProWire USA. Step one is figuring out what fuel injector connectors you need and going to order those. The next step is going to be looking at your wiring diagram. This is the same wiring diagram that I used to wire my engine harness, and it is the one that I got off of Holly specifically for my car. Since I did have the old Holly fuel injector harness, I did end up wiring my connector from my main harness to the fuel injectors the same way that I'm going to do them now. So to make this easy, I made a little footnotes that I will put up on the screen. And it's basically just so I don't have to use this giant diagram and get confused. It is all just really quick spark notes right here. Now keep in mind when you are laying out your wires and looking at your wiring diagram, some of the wiring diagrams are labeled injector A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So when you go to lay them out, make sure you're going off of cylinder. So a is cylinder one, B is cylinder two, and that will determine if it's uniform in a line or not, depending on what motor you have. Now that you have what connectors you need and you have your spark notes of your wiring diagram, it is time to start laying out your wires. Really quickly, I do wanna note that these colors mean absolutely nothing until you make them mean something. So for me, they matter because I am looking off of a connector that I already put into my main harness and I need to match them to the fuel injector. But besides that, they don't have significance until you make them have significance. When you start the process of laying your wires out, I do recommend that you measure them longer than what they need to be, just so that you don't completely finish a job and realize that they're not long enough. Also, I'm going to make mine extra long in this video because obviously my engine is not in the car and I don't know how close the connector is going to be to where it's going to sit. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so now that I have all of these done and laid out and cut, it is time to start pinning them. So we're gonna head over to the workbench. All right, so we are going to start by opening up some of our connector packets here. And as you can see in each one, it comes with your connector, the plastic protector for the back of your wires, two pins and your rubber grommets. On these connectors, you see there is two spaces. You're supposed to have two wires per connector. That is going to be for your colored wire, which is your signal wire, and then a power wire. So each one of these is going to get its own power wire. Now for me, this is the easiest part of wiring. You kind of just zone out and you start pinning. You don't really have to worry about what connectors are where or really doing any thinking. So before I knock all of these out really fast, and I mean that in the most non-literal sense possible, I want to show you in detail exactly what I am doing. To start out, you're going to take your plain wire and wire strippers. You can use these or just your Ravial or basic ones, and you are going to strip about that much off. Now that you have your bare wire here, you are going to spin this. Now this is not something that you have to do, but I like to do it just so that it doesn't fray once you pin it. You take your rubber grommet and the smaller side goes towards the open side of the wire. You slide that on just so that it reaches the 
end of the wire casing. Now that you've done that, you have your pin here. It looks like this. And you're going to take that pin and this bottom piece is going to wrap around the bottom of this rubber grommet. And then the wire is going to stick up into here. So set that in there. Just like so. Now you're going to choose whichever one you think best fits. I usually go bigger and then work smaller and I do it several times just so that I don't break a connector on accident. And then you can slowly clamp down on it. I'm putting no pressure on it just because I wanna make sure that this is completely straight and lined up. And then once you feel like it is straight and lined up, you can slowly press down. Now your connector is going to want to move, so do this slowly. Now once you've got that, I do believe that that is too big, so I'm not gonna let go of it because the wire will fall out of it and the connector might be trashed if you can't get the wire back in. So I'm gonna go down to the next size. I use this one, I'm going to go down one more. Also make sure it doesn't spin because it will try to on this one as well. Now that you've done that pin, which is more of these M style pins here, you're going to do the rubber grommet, which is these two here. And this one seems to fit this A side the most. So I'm going to do with that one. And same thing, it's going to try to spin on you. Just try to keep it straight and do it slow. Also for these round ones, I tend to not clamp down all the way because you can snap your connector very easily. And for some reason, they snap the most when you're doing this one than rather the actual wire part. So now you have your pin and it is ready to go into your connector. Based off of Holly's harness, um, the power wire goes into this side and the signal wire goes to this side. I'm not sure if that's different on other fuel injectors or connectors, so do a quick Google search on that one. But what you're going to do is if you look inside, obviously this is going to go into your fuel injector and then this side is going to receive the wires to push through. So if you can see inside of there, on the top there is no tab. On the bottom, there is that little tab that is inside that terminal. So what you're going to do is look at your connector here. And that tab is going to fit into this little hole of your connector that you have here. So I'm going to place that hole downward. And you will hear a click when it clicks in properly. And that rubber grommet does go down in there. That is its job. And then same thing for the other side. And there you have it. And then you take one of these. And this is a protector for the wires as it comes out of the connector here. And there is your finished connector. They're trying to bring out the beast. I'm batting a thousand, my game is elite. I'm running around in the streets. They're trying to catch up, but they still can't compete. I thought they got in my sleep. He told me, keep going, cause you got to leave. Count it up, all the brodies came through, then we added up. They was asking me questions, I had it up. I've been running with God, I just leveled up. They won't speak to my face, got that and the They've been pointing me on like I'm one of those. I can see why they hate them. Dangerous. I should be wearing my safety glasses. Hey, now you got all of those in their connectors and you are ready to lay them out and plan how you're going to loom them. Now a lot of my power wires I'm gonna splice together and I feel like the best bet here is going to be going ahead and connecting these onto their said fuel injector and then looming and heat shrinking everything from here. I don't think they get it, they don't understand I'ma do it for my homies and my fans They don't see the vision, they just see the bad Highs on the money like a rubber band That is number one, I follow his command so here is my final product and I will be finishing this up later once I fully decide what connector I want to use for that because it is going to attach to my main harness 
on these two connectors and I'm not really sure if I'm going to switch up the injectors and coil harness yet. Once again, huge shout out to both Holly and ProWire USA for all the stuff that they gave me. I will be leaving links down below for both of those as well as a few different part numbers for you guys to get loom, heat shrink, connectors, whatever you need easy access. If you guys are curious, the fuel injectors that I got from Holly are the 100 pound per hour high impedance injectors. And to reiterate, I did use the EV6 connectors from ProWire USA. Also want to give a huge shout out to my other sponsors like Jags, Motul, Smallwood Racing. Thank you guys so much. This whole build would not look the way that it does without you guys. So thank you. As usual, head down below for a coupon code to Heatwave 10% off for some new shades or safety glasses, whatever you may need. And also, I will be leaving links to my socials down below so that you guys can go follow for some more content. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. Cannot wait to get the next build series of this thing actually going together. Super, super excited for that. And thank you guys for watching again.